Hello, yeah, well, my good friends. It's Roger from Fossil University. Must admit, a little upset today. Tried to uh, tell um, NASA about their space debris, and uh, as you can see this, and you can see what you're looking at there. That's Comet 67P. I've been following that for years, and that is the same as this. This is a tendon anthesis. That is a tendon anthesis. That had a stalk coming out. It's broken off. This had one out. It is broken off. It wrapped around here, and it is burnt off here. And why is it burnt off? Why is this crispy looking? This came through space. What happened, and when it came through space, it was one of these. Well, part of it was one of these. This had more to it, and that is ripped away out this whole ball and I'll show you the ball it's it's a tendon ball with a stalk on it now what happened through coming through space why did it get blistered and why can I make that statement you cannot get this kind of blistering without somebody either holding a blowtorch on there and heating it up like that evenly it's impossible this is the red blood side and that is red blood and I looked at it in a microscope and it is blood and this is a biological creature it's obviously blood now the red side blows out the black side doesn't do that the vein side because you know it's bl blue in us but it's black in the uh, mud fossils and there's some different chem well I know that there's, there's different chemistries Fe2, Fe202 and Fe203 and the O3 is oxygenated and oxygen combusts and blows it out that's what happens alright so anyway that's what it is alright now that is coming through space and I tried to get a hold of NASA and I asked them to look at it. So I posted on their website and, and they shadow blocked me. And I show you why I can make that statement. All right, so here's your comet and here's your ball, which is that tendon emphasis. And there's the stalk and all of these little ball, these little jets coming out of here going every different direction why are they going every different direction because they're being boiled off of the tube that is the blood vessel and they shoot out from the blood vessel boiled and if it was a gas grill and you had enough oxygen this would be burning all right this would be combusting right now it's combusting but it's not enough oxygen to actually create flames Right. And the, and this, the uh, astronauts all say that their suits smell exactly like steak when they come in after spacewalk. I'm going to close the case on this. And if, NAS and if NASA will not address this, nobody addresses reality anymore. It's, everybody's just got their own mindset. I don't care about anything. I'm just going to go about my own way. Unbelievable. Look up Hermes' lament. <laughs> Look up Hermes' lament. Not a truer word has ever been spoken. Thank you. All right, I understand the chemistry extremely well, and anybody that understands the chemistry of anatomy and organic creatures understands ferrous oxides. That's a blood, silicon, sodium, hydrogen, CH, 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 hydrocarbons coursing through your body all day long and emitting from Comet 67P as it scorches and combusts only there's not enough oxygen out there to combust like it does on your grill so what does it do? It creates comas of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons which is exactly not close but exactly identical to what comes off of your barbecue grill. All right, so here I was. I put this up on their, this is NASA's site, and it's about asteroid venue, and they're showing a crater in there, which is, I understand what the crater is. So I put my statements up here. Look at this stuff, look at this stuff. Yeah, okay, guys, we're gonna look, have a nice day. And they got 39 comments. Well, I'm up there. Look, I'm fine. Well, no, I'm not fine. And I am not up there. I asked it because my buddy told me, he says, you're not there. I said, no, I have to be there. I can see myself. Well, I can see myself, but nobody else can. No, I can see it. Nobody can see it. She's, this guy says, yes, he was wrong. 
they were wrong. They can't see it. Everybody else is no, nope, no, no. All right, so they 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 got me blocked off. You go up and see if you can see it. It's called Asteroid Benu Sample Site Nightingale. All right, I pay taxes. This is a federally funded program. I should have a voice. I'm speaking truth. If they can fight against it and they can show that my stuff is wrong, their stuff is wrong, and they will not admit it. As Very NASA's upset. Osiris Rex spacecraft neared its target, Bennu, the yeah. asteroid grew in detail from a few tiny pixels to an incredibly high resolution image. Osiris Rex confirmed the asteroid's basic shape which was originally observed in 1999 by ground... Uh, it, this doesn't matter because everything they're going to say is, is based on something that they won't address reality. So, thank you, NASA. Spend my money. Deny reality. You know, I don't want to be nasty, but you're holding the keys to the castle and you won't let anybody in. Thank you. Okay, now, I know it's shocking stuff that I'm talking about, and I have no way, you don't ask me, oh, how does it happen, where does it come from? I don't know. I'm not going to make any statements about that at all, because I don't know. Why don't you investigate it? Why doesn't somebody else investigate that? But I can tell you what, that's the kind of structure they're looking at on Bennu, and guess where this is? It's on Mimas, which is one of the, the moons of Saturn. And all of Saturn's moons, I mean, as far as I can find, there's nothing that is not biological. And these things were written about in the past. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not saying anything about anything other than what I see is I see. If you don't see it, you don't see it. But if you don't see it, I think you're fooling yourself. And if you will not allow yourself to see something, then you've you, you, uh, you got issues. <laughs> All right, good luck.